Uh, this is from Venom Vlog. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we're going to cover a lot of information, but I'm going to try to do it over a course of three or four smaller videos because there's a little bit to break down here. And also, you know, it's nice to get to make videos again based on actual movie news and information that came out. And today we got a pretty good amount. We got a UK fan event for the screening of the movie. We also got a Q&A with Andy Serkis from IGN. We heard some things about the movie itself, uh, runtime, uh, post credit scene, that kind of stuff. So there's not going to be any spoilers here. And if you know the uh, spoilers or any information, don't share it on this channel, please. Even if you heard it from Reddit, you're like, oh, it's a rumor. It may be true. It may not be true. Don't post that stuff here. You know, I don't like Reddit. You know, I don't consider that place a source of actual information. It's definitely a place where fans go and share theories and stuff. But usually when people go on there and say, well, I heard this or I know this or it's no, nah, I, I normally don't put any faith in that stuff. And so I don't want to cover that here. What I want to just talk about is the concrete stuff that we got. Today, we're going to cover the UK fan event in this episode, at least. And we're going to talk about that the event that happened at Cineworld Leicester Square, which was today, September 14th. And we got some great images and stuff, which was awesome. You get to see them go in. It was Andy and Tom that were there that were present and they got to talk to fans and everything, which is really cool. They post some amazing images. Speaking of Andy Circus, he did do a QA and a today about the movie with IGN. He didn't review anything major. It was really cool because obviously like uh, the first uh, movie when it came out, uh, IGN or there was a couple of different places, they would let you tweet them a question and then they'd let you, you know, then they would have the host or whoever was asking the questions the interviewer ask the person. So they did the same thing. They took some questions off of Twitter and Andy Serkis got to answer them and they broadcasted it live on Instagram and I think on Twitter as well. So it was cool that they did on Instagram because I'm not on Twitter anymore. So it was nice to watch it on Instagram and, and kind of get Andy's uh, perspective and what it was like to work on this movie and you definitely hear enthusiasm in his voice. Now, I mean, so I, and I thought it was very genuine enthusiasm. He seems very pumped for this movie, excited that it's finally coming out. And he did drop a couple information, a little bits of information out there about the runtime, which I, you know, people were speculating on. And then some people weren't sure if it was true when they were buying their tickets. I will make a separate video on that. So we will definitely talk about the runtime of this movie now that we know that it's going to be about 90 minutes. So save your comments, everything for that video. I'll try to get that up to you soon after this one. You have Andy there, you know, hanging out with Tom, with Blue. They're all, you know, on the carpet there. Um, people are going in. There were some fans that went dressed in cosplay. And they looked really cool. I think there was like Shriek was there, like a girl dressed as Shriek, or maybe, maybe both girls were dressed as Shriek. And then we had someone dressed as like Carnage, but in a suit, which I thought was really dapper and cool looking. I really liked that cosplay. That was awesome. Um, and then we had someone there as Eddie transforming into uh, Venom, which was cool. And there was some press there too, I believe, because before the movie started, there was just like the screen with the poster on it. And it said, you know, you can share your, your thoughts on social media without spoiling anything. You're allowed to do that after the movie but you cannot put any reviews of the movie or spoilers up until September 30th, uh, which is when I'm going to go see the movie is on September 30th. So it looks like the embargo is till that day, which I know a lot of people are like, that's trouble. That's a sign of bad, you know, whatever. It seems like the, there's a, a specific reason for that. And we're going to cover that in the next episode. Actually, I'm going to make it the very next episode. Uh, Tom, when he, before the movie started, he actually spoke to the audience and made them promise him something and that is going to be the subject of the next video and why I think they're holding off on the review embargoes because they really just don't want something very specific to leak. So we won't get into what it is because I don't, I don't know what it is and I'm sure a lot of people out there don't, but I'm sure there will be uh, people out there saying, well, I saw on Reddit that it's this and whatever. Keep that stuff away from the channel. We're trying to enjoy ourselves going into this movie. So, uh, so the next episode we'll talk about what Tom was, you know, asking the audience to promise him. And the video after that will be all about the runtime. So we'll get all of our thoughts on that uh, two episodes from now. But so this is what I wanted to cover. This is how I'm breaking it down, these three videos. Um, so let me know what you think of all this information. I, you know, that's so cool. I mean, I obviously I've been in a situation where I've got to go to screenings. I got to see movies early, even the first Venom movie and Into the Spider-Verse and stuff. And it's a, it's awesome. It's really, really cool to be a part of something like that. And I know people out there will say, oh, but it skews your opinion. It makes you, you know, uh, give a review on the night itself and not just the movie or whatever. But who cares? Like if people are having fun, like really, is that a bad thing that people went and had a good time? Um, I don't think so. Especially in the world we live in, like you just, no one's supposed to be happy ever or express happiness. Like who cares? And if you think it's genuine or not, like that's up to you and that's a you problem. But 
as someone who's been to these events, they are fun. I mean, I've been to a couple that aren't as fun for sure, but uh, but typically they are because you're surrounded by people to, you know, who like something that you like a lot of times. Uh, a lot of times you get average audience members, like a, like a, like a more of a mass audience members that get into these screenings. Um, and then you get a nice mixed bag of them and hardcore fans. And then people who just are like, hey, I'm here with a friend. I don't know anything that's going on. And that's great. And so surrounding yourself with people like that is always fun too because you can converse and talk about the movie and talk about things. And yeah, what's wrong with having fun at an event like that? So I hope everyone that went to this event had a blast, and I hope you keep your word on your on the promise that Tom made you, you know, swear not to say. Uh, we'll get into that in the next episode for sure. But for now, just wanted to share some of these images that I found online. Hopefully, I included the people that, you know, post those images. Um, I got most of them off of the uh, actual uh, Instagram account of Venom Movie, um, and then some of them were sent to me um, as well. And then we'll also have, actually, I'll make a fourth video on the actual um feedback of this movie because I think that's starting to drop now and I think our friend Jason has already sent me some uh, some images or I asked him to so he'll probably be sending those to me soon so that'll be cool we'll cover that as well very very soon so that'll be a fourth video so here we go four videos so if you have any thoughts you know about this leave them in this video and then my other videos will be coming very very soon thanks so much see you in the future peace